Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. He's making a cocktail. No, I'm fixing this. He's fixing an old whiskey from a previous video. Yeah. He's still going to drink it. It's not great, but I'm trying to salvage it <laughs> because whiskey. Leave no man behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Doers. This is Doers White Label, baby. Incredibly. It, it's America's most famous, most purchased scotch. Let's do it. Okay, so I've had a couple of people ask about the Doers White Label. We're slumming it. We. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a snob. Well, hey, if we're, I'm not a snob. If we're <laughs> slumming it, we're slumming it with like three million other Americans. You were saying before it's the most popular. Yeah, whiskey. okay, so Scotch Noob, who's one of my favorite whiskey reviewers, if you haven't found him, go to his website, Scotch Noob, right. N-O-O-B. Um, Kick-ass reviewer, and he said this, I think America needs to, after he reviewed this, yeah. he said, I think America needs to expand its horizons, although I guess... All a brand has to do is establish itself as the number one scotch in the U.S. to become the standard well whiskey at the majority of bars. Yeah. I guess the slogan, number one scotch for Americans who don't care what's in their cocktails, doesn't quite have the same ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> Just put some scotch in it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's my favorite review of a budget scotch ever. <laughs> uh, this guy belongs on our, sh on our show, although we'd never get him. He's I was teasing Daniel. I was like, I'm surprised this isn't uh, at your little mini bar in the office. For all the riffraff that come in, just so you can give them the cheap stuff. I know, right? <laughs> so this is V. Neve, N-I-E-V, and Daniel Johnson both said, Hey, what about Doer's White Label? Um, he was gifted a half bottle. So I'm going into this... Well, hold on a second. Just in bottle design. This isn't just the generic bottle. They got the... Um, now, here's the thing. They got... I love that you know I'm a fan of the fiddly bits. Yeah, the fiddly bits. I fiddly enjoy bits. fiddly bits. There's fiddly bits. Dude, they date back to 1846. When John Dewar started doing whiskey. How many different Dewars are there? This is white. In label. retail. He wasn't distilling. He was doing retail whiskey. A lot like Johnny Walker, by the way. Both merchants, he started blending whiskeys and selling it to their customers. This is Dewar's white label. How many different Dewars are there? Is it like an expansive line? There's or? a bunch of different Dewars. <clears throat> but, the, but the white label dates back to 1899. Well, balls. He started selling the Dewar's white label in 1899. You know what? I'm smelling it's this. old damn... I'm not, I'm not smelling embarrassing budget here. No, me either. Now, oh, you know what's cool and we're going to try? Yeah. You know, when he started it, the majority of what went into the bottle was Aberfeldy. Ooh. What? Wait a minute. We had Aberfeldy. Did I like Aberfeldy? Yes. Were well, you sure I liked it? It was simple, but good. Okay. And now, I think they still use Aberfeldy as the dominant blend. Now, I really like Now, the here's the thing. On, the, really, nose, on like, the nose already, though. Yeah. There's grain, there's a, maybe a little too much grain whiskey in here. You think so? Anytime I'm smelling grain whiskey instead of single malt, you always get the sharp notes. Not the, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. Just sharp, pointy edge, fresh, young notes. And I'm gonna see if it shows up on the taste. The oh, smell is yeah. actually pretty great. It's so paper thin. It's no, thin is uh, the exact word I was about to use. Yeah. It's very thin. It's got no oil. It's got no real drama, <laughs> no character, no depth. But, but it's not bad. But, but while it's there, mm -hmm. it's nice. Dare I say, fine. <laughs> <laughs> this whiskey, I think, well, you know, it's fine. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna pour Aberfeldy. An argument could be made for fine. Uh, what did I hide Aberfeldy? No, this is the, um, it's, a, it's a, a cocktail scotch. Is this a thing? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Because I'm just saying words. Angel Javier Soler Sepulveda. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Does Daniel own another color of shirt? No. I only wear black v-neck t-shirts. It makes getting up in the morning a simple decision. I don't have to make clothing choices. Look, you're not Steve Jobs. <laughs> right? It's not like you have so much genius. My turtleneck. I am a genius. You have so Come much on. genius and so little time. My brain's working overtime. There's so many people that just have to get a piece of you. That you don't even have a moment to look at colors oh, and dude. fabrics. I just have to put on my uniform. That's pretentious. Try the Aberfeldy. No, 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 I'm busting your balls. You are busting my balls. <laughs> no, I just buy a bunch of the same thing. 
You saw, you saw the <laughs> Steve Jobs movie. It was like, oh. That's... I didn't see it yet. Oh god, that's a way for me to look smart. I'm gonna go watch it now. <laughs> now you know what my body shape is good for? Those old English boxing posters. I was about to say tossing. <laughs> yeah, tossing. Like, a hot... hey, wait, wait. Here you go. You ready? If you get those old, wait. You, you gotta get the... you. You grab him by the beard and grab him by the belt, <laughs> and you just uh, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm an old English boxing with a handlebar mustache. <laughs> Damn it. That's I'm a uh, what do they call it? I'm a pugilist. Is that what it is? Yeah. Pugilist? A pugilist. You know what? You are smart. You wear your uniform like a champ. Yes! <laughs> Dude, you can taste the Aberfeldy. This is, this In that is, blend, this that's is, the Aberfeldy. Ooh, you totally is. can. Now, it really does taste... Now that I've tried the Aberfeldy, I went back to Dewar's White Label. Dewar's White Label tastes like Aberfeldy watered down, for lack of a better word, watered down with grain whiskey. Yes. Yes. This yes. Has, Aberfeldy has a lot more. Uh, now I have a grain whiskey. Flower notes. And it's actually a really wonderful whiskey in its own right. But oh. I wonder if we mix Aberfeldy with one of the grain whiskeys I have, if we can create Dewar's, or maybe a nicer version of Dewar's. Challenge accepted. Thomas Graves, engage. It's cool that you guys involve us. The Whiskey Vault was the first channel that I ever subscribed to. Port Nundas. I brush my teeth. to My <laughs> Brett Thomas. Yeah, he brushes, he brushes his, teeth. his teeth with whiskey. <laughs> we need to have whiskey flavored toothpaste. Now that may not be true, but it's definitely a better story than what Thomas would tell. Whiskey flavored toothpaste done is being added to the merch list. So I just dropped a 12 year old Port Dundas single grain okay. into Aberfeldy. Okay, so ah, it's way smoother than this. I thought this was smooth until mm -hmm. I just sipped that. Hmm. Then you go back to this, this has some punch to it all of a sudden, which means their grain whiskey is younger. Single grain, in Scotland, single is not a descriptor of the next word. So single malt doesn't mean one malt, it means one location. Single is the descriptor of loca locale. Mm -hmm. And so you can swap single and blended based on whether it's one distillery or multiple distilleries. So a single grain means a single distillery grain whiskey. Now traditionally in Scotland, grain whiskey means a mix of a mash similar to bourbons in American whiskey, yeah. and usually done through a column still. Not so always, but usually. Here's the thing, I'm saying yes and I'm nodding. I stopped listening. You, he really didn't hear any of that. Eight seconds ago, keep going. For the people. <laughs> this is 20 bucks, by the way. Would you, would you drink that for 20 bucks? That's not bad at all for 20 damn dollars. Yeah. Right, it's, it's thin, but the, the note that it gives you while it's there, it's a nice note, man. Yeah, yeah it's one note, it's a, it's a pretty note. I, I would say one and a half note. It's not magical. I would say one and a half note. Yeah, it's, it's a note from the high school band instead of the, the city orchestra. Right. Now, yeah, we're not talking a really good high school band. This isn't elementary school children playing recorders. No, 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 this is high school kids who have maybe you know, won some UIL awards. <laughs> and if you know what UIL is, you're definitely from the South. It is amazing how thin that is. How, how some scotches will just hang on to your tongue for dear now, life. The blend we made, it lingers. Okay. By the way, this was two to one, Aberfeldy 12 and Port Dundas 12. Yeah, it's just, it's the same general thing. But same it's just, idea. It's much more, um, it's less watered down. It's got more character. And yeah, less watered down, that's the yeah. best way to describe it. Belfry, $2,000, holy. Holy crap. <laughs> it says, that's, it yeah, because he's that. responding to another guy who said, because of you guys, I spent $2,000 on whiskey yeah. in the last I month. I would be really curious, because it's impossible to know. But we hear, this, we hear this all the time. Yeah. People's like, I have spent so much money. I would love to see. Because of you bastards. I would love to see a dollar total that we have cre of, a, of a demand we have created. <laughs> I bought <laughs> 400 to 500 dollars worth in the last month. I thought it was a bit excessive. I started uh, a budget can from an old Brook Lodic. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And now I only put about twenty dollars in every week to devote to my addiction, I mean hobby. <laughs> <laughs> hobby. Repeat after me. Hobby. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. I've had multiple people in the comments, or seen in the comments, say things like, you know, I used to have one whiskey. Now the corner that held one whiskey has like 14 and my girlfriend is starting to look at me sideways funny. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry not, sorry not sorry. Okay, so what I would tell you is, you know what's ironic about mm -hmm. having a vault like this? The whiskey selection at my house sucks. Oh, don't get me started. Yeah. You wanna know how many I have? I used to have- Wait, I promise you have more than me. Oh no, no, I used to have 
15, 20 amazing whiskeys at my house. Right. Now I've got this vault. You know what I have at my house right now? Good. Two. Oh, sh I have more whiskeys. Yes. Than I have two. <laughs> Level and three sommeliers. Yes. <laughs> I have two, and both of them are budget whiskeys. Okay, I have. Under $25 a piece. I have Jameson Black Barrel. We talked about this yeah. recently, how Black Barrel, uh, no. Yeah, no, no. Too smooth. I have Monkey Shoulder. Yeah, okay. I'm obligated to, because Monkey Shoulder. Uh, and then I have Glen Catam 15, and I only have that because... I gave it to you. You gave it to me. Okay, so I have two uh, decanters. One has, uh, actually I have three, but I finished the scotch one, so I had three until yesterday. Yeah. So, my three decanters are a scotch decanter, an Irish decanter, and a bourbon decanter. The bourbon is Bullet. Oh. The yeah, Irish bourbon. is currently Powers 12, mm -hmm. and the, or no, it's just Powers, not Powers 12, just generic Powers. And then my uh, scotch is Black Bottle. Now, if you ask me how many empty bottles I have yeah, in my house. Yeah, that's more. It's a lot more than three. Yeah. <laughs> they don't last long. How many do you have in your- Oh no, I have a fourth one. I forgot. Yeah. I have Legic. I bought one for my little week away. Okay. And uh, and I still haven't finished it. It's half full. Have we re re reviewed it? I don't know that we reviewed it, but we tried it. Okay. I can't, I can't remember. Do you know- I can't remember the, what we reviewed. Do you know off the top of your head uh, how many you have in your office? 40. Okay. In my office, I got 40. The vault- about 600. So what initially sounded like a hardship, he only has a few whiskeys in his house. He spends more time in his office. I do. I, I spend probably between 50 to 80 hours a week on this campus. <laughs> so um, that's why I don't have fancy whiskey at home. Okay. All right. And to our viewer toast. Here's ready? your lovely toast. You guys keep them coming. They're always amazing. May the best of our past be the worst of our future. Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.